And here it is, the master suite. And you know you're in a master suite when it looks like you've walked into a small apartment in Santon. And this is only one room in this stunning house right here in Hyde Park. As you can see, I'm standing in the lounge area or the pajama lounge, I might say, of this master suite. We've got some couches as well as armchairs dotted about or coffee tables in the center because who doesn't like to enjoy a coffee right there in the comfort of their own bedroom but yeah this has to be its sweet spot the crowny jewel of this master suite i might add above a tv and below another one of those really awesome gas fireplaces can you imagine waking up in the morning stretching out of your four poster bed and bang the fireplace turns on that right there is the lap of luxury. Above me, one fan, another fan just above the lounge area. And over here, we've got a California king-size bed that is dwarfed by the size of this room. The whole ceiling is bulkhead, again, with that up lighting flowing into the bulkhead, really emphasizing the arch of the ceiling. And then dominating one wall and a little bit of the other are windows with all those plantation shutters. Again, letting in all the light you might need or giving you whatever amount of privacy you might need as well. Now, on my right-hand side, another walk-in closet again no master suite is complete without a walk-in closet but before we get to this closet and before we talk about the bathroom behind me this master suite comes with something that many others don't and that is its very own internal office area and right over here to the right of the fireplace, we find this quaint office area that is perfectly equipped for you to do your work without leaving the comfort of your room. On my left hand side, we've got a whole wall dedicated to cupboard space, all of them long cupboards with some three quarter cupboards just where you guys are standing. We've got an inbuilt desk right over here, as you can see the Mac computer just above it. You know you're doing some hard work and hard design work when you've got a Mac. And then some extra storage space right over here in case you need it, maybe for some filing cabinets, maybe for another desk. Both walls have those built-in windows, plantation shutters, and then another really cool feature is just there, just above where you are, if the camera tilts up, is you'll see a skylight. But let's head on out and let's take a look at that walk-in closet. Now, for some features that we can talk about as we walk to the closet is again, this room, like the rest of the rooms, do come with built-in speakers, but also it has access to its central air conditioning system. But right now, it's time for the closet. Now your walk-in closet of this master suite runs almost the length of the room. You can see just how large this closet is with every single wall dedicated to cupboard space. And just on the other side or on the opposite side of this walk-in closet, we've got glass display cabinets as well as drawers for you to show off all your best fashion choices. Again, this room, just like the rest of the bedroom, has got access to its central air conditioning system. So you're never gonna need to worry about getting just a bit too toasty while you're getting ready for any fashion show that you might be running. But now that we've talked about this, and now that we've talked about that bedroom, it has to be time for us to walk in to your ensuite master bathroom. And here it goes, it is time because this master suite has some of the coolest features we've ever seen above us. We've got your speaker system, so if you'd like to listen some, to some music while you're relaxing in your jacuzzi tub, you can. This jacuzzi tub is just underneath, again, another window, so you can get a bit of a view while you enjoy the jets of water spurting out of this. On my left-hand side, we've got a pocket door that gives you some privacy from the toilet area, again, another floating toilet with hidden system and right over here, a double vanity, plenty of under counter storage with cupboards flanking both the left and the right of that floating vanity. And then in front of me is the crown jewel of this bathroom in my opinion. And that is this really unique steam shower. You can see the shower is fully enclosed and arches around this opening of the wall. You've got two heads and then both your separate faucets so that you and your partner can shower in your perfect temperature. But what makes a steam shower so cool is it comes with a control panel for you to not only set the temperature of the steam that's pumped into the shower, but you to also control the steam itself. It has a window there as well. So when you do want to just get all of that steam out there and enjoy some fresh air you can. I think it's such a cool feature and it's so nice for you to be able to have a full-on spa day right here in this home. But that does sum up this incredible home right here in Hyde Park.
And here we are within the master suite and what a master suite this is with two doors that open on to the hallway of it. And that's what I love, that feeling of specialness, that feeling of grandeur. And let me just mention while I am here, you do have a linen cupboard, but moving along this hallway, air conditioning throughout, you find yourself within your first walk-in closet. And the reason I say first is there's obviously more than one. There are two, a his and a hers, which is fantastic for all of you that are out there looking to accumulate the best fashion. This home, accommodates that so this walk-in closet plenty of space both cupboards as well as shelving as well as areas there for you to hang all your suits and the exact same is replicated in the main section and then on my left through this little opening here we have your ensuite master bathroom let's take a look and here it is ladies and gentlemen how well done this has been You've got a walk-in shower with not one, but two heads. You could say his and hers as well. Then you've got your his and hers vanities, obviously a double vanity, plenty of under counter storage, lots of mirrors throughout this room. And then take a look at that jacuzzi bathtub off there in the corner with the feature wall, the rock feature wall. Really love the thought and the attention to detail that is throughout this house. I also love these cantilevered windows that open up and get you that nice fresh air within the bathroom. There's nothing better then a cold breeze and a hot, hot bath. And coming out of the bathroom, we carry on down this hallway and we find ourselves in a sitting room area, the stunning gas fireplace right there for you to warm up, chase away the winter chills, which I'm actually feeling right now. Should have brought a jacket. Not one sitting room. What is a master bedroom without not one sitting area, but two, this being more of a lounge area. You've got your TV right there, massive L-shaped couch, and then speakers built into the ceiling. You'll also see more vents for your aircon, and then this beautiful bulkhead ceiling just above the master bed. This is a stunning master bedroom, and it really does bring everything to the term. When you say master suite, you expect something big, you expect something fantastic, and this room, definitely has it. I love it. I love the way the lights run the whole room of this bulkhead and I also like that outside you've got your own ensuite balcony. Excuse the dogs barking outside. I think maybe they're jealous of this house but take a look at this 360 degree views north facing of your whole house. I love it. It's incredibly done and it is also very cold outside so we're gonna go right back in. And now it is time for us to talk about the master room of the house or in this case I have to say the master suite because it is not only immersive but also so well equipped. First thing we need to talk about is this bed. It's a king size bed with a headboard that runs almost the length of the room. You've got LED mood lighting installed in that. You can see that the bed is big enough to put a couch at the foot of it and in front of the couch is a nice gas fireplace feature wall with storage space in it, aircon above it, and TV recessed in it. We love that. I think it is such a cool thing to do. And I love the different colors in wood. It really does make it pop and really make this feel like a featured wall. Now, walking past the featured wall on the other side is your walk-in closet. We've got this center island that is gigantic, beautifully paneled in wood. You've got your dressing room right over here, your dressing table, you can sit down, massive mirror there, ringed in some LED lighting and on both sides of the room you've got cupboard space again finished in that gloss white paneling, recessed LED lighting in the ceiling, bulkhead style, and a window on this side letting in all the natural light. And now that we've covered the walk-in closet and the bedroom, let's move to this side of the home and talk about a couple of things we find here. One is just off and in this spot over here is your private toilet, frosted glass door and toilet inside there with uh, some nice windows letting in that natural light. But just up these stairs and behind this pocket door, we find ourselves in the master suite, the master bathroom, and it is absolutely incredible. So let's talk about a couple of the features. One, you've got a walk-in shower. No glass separating anything whatsoever. You've got your shower controls over here, your shower head over here, and then you've got another shower head over there, and another one right over here. So essentially, this whole space becomes a shower. That really does make you feel like a king or queen in his or her castle with so much space. But maybe you want somewhere to soak, relax. This is gonna be the bathtub for you. Center bathtub, 
faucets coming from the floor, and then just above you, some bulkhead LED mood lights. On the right-hand side, you've got basically a wall full of mirrors with double vanity sunken into this beautiful marble again. The marble in this house is incredible. Wood paneling, some greenery outside. And then if we go this way, we've got a sliding door leading out to an outside decking. And for all of those that have been following this channel for a long time, we know that if there's a sliding door leading outside in the master suite, it generally leads off to a shower and the shower is right over there. So if you do want an outdoor shower, very private, lots of greenery, making you feel like you are outdoors and almost unobstructed view of the sky. I love it. So now let's go head outside there to that section of the home to the upstairs decking. Let's take a look at that and then it's time to say goodbye. And now it's time for the creme de la creme, the master suite. And again, it does follow in theme that double doors open outwards onto your master suite. We've got a really cool step ceiling over there with some recessed lighting right here, making it a feature wall. But this time that wall happens to be on the ceiling. Beautiful lighting recessed into the ceiling as well. And then just over to the side, you've got a walk-in closet your very own ensuite toilet. We're gonna to take a look at that and then sliding glass doors that lead out onto your balcony. So let's take a look at this bathroom over here and then let's head off to that balcony to say goodbye. Walking into the bathroom, you'll immediately have your breath taken away, not only by the steps leading up to the sunken jacuzzi bathtub, but also to the expansive marble that has the two vanities sunken into it as well. You've got a frameless mirror just above those vanities. And then talking about frameless, so is your walk-in shower. Behind the walk-in shower in the bathtub, plenty of light streams through the glass openings. And that concludes our wrap-up of this stunning home right here in the heart of Santon City.